Hello, everybody. I just wanted to pop on here for a few minutes. Y'all know how my few minutes can be, though. <laughs> I just want to let y'all know that I know yesterday's video, I was down and depressed, and my energy seemed to be drained for some reason. But I had some self-talk. I talked to my self you know not out loud i don't talk to myself out loud y'all but i did do some deep thinking and i have decided that candace is not worth interrupting my life and and by saying that i mean i don't care enough about candace to allow her space in my mind and space in my life. As a matter of fact, I'm like borderline having borderline hate for this woman. I don't even like to talk about her. That's one reason why I cannot wait for this case to be over. Besides the obvious reason is for summer. But, I mean, so much comes along with this case that is really ridiculous. It should not be this way. This is a true crime community out here that I've, I work alongside of covering this case. And I'm not happy with the way a lot of things are going. But that's out of my control. All I can do is control my life, my emotions, my feelings, basically my life. I'm in control of my life. I'm in control over my emotions. I'm in control over my feelings. I'm in control over what I give space to in my mind as well as in my heart. And I choose not to give Candace a place in my heart at all. And the only time that she has a space in my mind is when I'm working on Summer's case. I cannot stand the woman. And when I think about her, it gives me negative energy. And that is because she is pure negative energy. She is nothing but evil, pure evil. I don't care who don't like to hear it. I do not like Candace. And she is 100% pure evil, pure synthetic evil. And I will shout it from the mountaintops for the whole world to hear because I don't care that everybody knows that that's how I feel. And anybody who takes up for Candace, I feel sorry for them because they just don't see. They don't see what I see. And anyways, this is about Summer. This is Summer's case, not Candace's case. This is Summer's case. This is about Summer. It's not about all the other people in this case, surrounding this case, it's about summer. And that's what I want to keep my focus on. That's the only part about this case that don't upset me and give me stress, besides the fact that I'm worried about where she is and what happened to her and will she be found. I'm thinking about that baby girl, that beautiful baby girl, and how she needs voices. She needs people to be standing up for her. She needs people to be strong and suck up the harassment and the bullying that they have to go through online, just like I do too. I have to do it too. I've just learned to just, just block them. That's what I do. I block the bullies. But I tell you what, it's still, it's still a lot to have to deal with. And it's really stupid of these trolls to get on here and bully and harass creators who are doing nothing but trying to find a missing child. I mean, what kind of monsters would do that? And 
The only thing I can think of is the same kind of monsters that are in her real life. That's why they won't come forward, the people in Summer's real life. That's why they won't come forward with the information that they do know. Because they're just like her. They're all the same. Candace wouldn't have any friends if they wasn't just like her. I can't believe it. I see nothing good in her. I don't. I don't see anything good in her, and I ain't no longer looking for nothing good in her either. She's pure evil, and if hell is real, there's a special place in hell just for her. It's probably off in the darkest corner, and I hope it's full of everything that she fears and everything that she hates. Yeah, that's how I feel about Candace. So... Summer. Summer Wells is still missing. It's been almost a year. And that's what I'm thinking about. This baby girl that has been gone for almost a year. And that's where my focus is going to be. And that's where everybody else's focus needs to be. Because this is about Summer. This is Summer Wells' case. This case is about Summer Wells and her life. Not about Candace and her love interest and her games and pranks. I'm so sick of her interfering with Summer's case. And people say that YouTube creators interfere with the case. Nowhere near as much as her own mother with all the deflection and deception and the lies and the pranks and games that are not even funny. She has no sense of humor at all. Poor Summer. That was her mother, y'all. That was her mother. No wonder she held on so tight to uh, Robin at church. Robin was the closest thing to a real mother that she ever seen. Summer ain't never even come close to having a mother like Robin. Just being able to spend time with Robin just during church. What, one day a week? On the days that they choose to go? And that was all that she, that's all Summer had. It was the role model, Robin was the role model that Summer wanted as a mother. She knew that Robin had a little girl. She understood that Robin's little girl was very lucky to have a mommy like Robin. And she wanted, I could tell, that she wanted Robin to be her mommy too. And it's so sad. But I know that, that Candace didn't want Summer, so why didn't she just let Robin have her? I'm sure Robin would have loved to take her and have her. Because she's selfish. She's selfish, and she only thinks about herself. And again, it's not about her. It's about poor little Summer and her pitiful little life that she had. And she can't even get the spotlight on her and keep the spotlight on her because of her own mother still. Same, it was the same way in her real life. She had to live in Candace's shadow all of her life. But overall, I got my, it may not sound like it because I'm thinking about her and I'm talking about her and I'm typically, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not allowing her the space in my mind. I'm just doing it now because I'm making a video and I'm talking about it because I'm speaking it into existence here and I like to speak my thoughts to y'all 
when it comes to anything about this case. I like to share my thoughts on it. And I've done it all along since I've been here. So that's what I do here. And I'm thinking about the boys. I'm wondering how they're doing. I'm wondering how they're coping. I'm wondering how they're doing in therapy and if they're still in therapy. I'm sure they are because those boys are going to need therapy for years to come, probably well into their adult lives because of Candace and the lifestyle that them children had to live. They didn't have a home. They didn't have a family. They had a family. They had each other. The siblings, the children had each other, but they didn't have any parents. Those children raised themselves. And for that, the parents need to be held accountable, and I can't wait to see them in handcuffs. I'm looking forward to the day that they get in trouble, finally, for what they've done to these children. I haven't forgotten. CPS hasn't forgotten. Nobody's going to forget about it. The whole world's watching. Other countries are watching. All eyes on this case to make sure that them parents are held accountable. The parents that still, a year later almost, and still has not been cleared by law enforcement. And that's a shame. Most parents in a missing child case by now have been cleared. They generally start with the family. They, as in law enforcement, will start from the family and they will work their way from the inside of the home and they'll work their way outward. And they cannot really go too far outward away from that hill because the parents have not been cleared. They're not cooperating. They are very highly suspicious and they have lawyered up. And that says enough. That says it all. And it shows that they do not care still, do not care about those children. And if Candace really cared about the boys, she would tell what she knows about Summer so the boys could have a peace of mind, so the boys could have closure. But she won't do that because if she does, she'll go to prison and she knows it. You know why? Because she was involved. A lot of people don't like to hear that. Sorry, but Candace was involved. Or else Candace would have done squealed like a little rat by now. Because that's what Candace does best. Is call the police on other people. I know for a fact she would have done called the law and told on somebody else as long as she wasn't going to be in trouble for it. So whatever her guilty knowledge is, it's something that would put her behind bars for just as long as anybody else. And I think she is the main perpetrator here. I believe with all my heart that Candace is the main suspect. She was the last one in, that was with Summer and responsible for Summer. And still has not been cleared. And Candace does not care. She done told you. She put Summer to the side. She done put Summer to the side on her first interview. Summer was already put to the side on the very first news interview that I ever saw. The first, her, it was Candace's very first interview. Even though Don had already done news interviews, Candace wouldn't in the beginning. She wouldn't. 
It took her, I think, about two weeks before she would finally talk to a news reporter about her missing child. That's not typical of a parent who has a missing child either. Most of the time, they're standing up there with the police, holding a picture of their child and pleading to the public to please bring my child home. Please don't hurt my child and tell them things that their child likes and don't like. About medical conditions, about medicines that they might need, about, and you know, what has Candace done? She sat in there and played Monopoly with Grandis while all the searchers are out there searching for her daughter. She was in there having a nervous breakdown and had to sit there and play Monopoly to calm down. She's scared. She's scared because of where they're looking. Because she knows that there's a good reason for why they're looking in those in that area. That's why she was a nervous wreck. They're getting close. They're getting too close. She knows they know something by the location of the searches. She also knows that they know, the law enforcement knows way more than, as far as deception, she knows more than anybody that law enforcement is very much aware of several holds in this story. She knows she's going down. I can't wait to see it. Justice will come for summer. Justice will come for the boys. And we will get to see Candace in handcuffs and in a red jumpsuit. The one for the high profile inmates. She'll be wearing one of them jumpsuits that the killers wear. And around here they're red because I know because I work at a jail. Yeah, I actually have a job. I don't have a sugar daddy like somebody in my comments said. Some people are so stupid. These trolls. It's not even... If it wasn't for summer, I would not even be on YouTube talking on YouTube. I would just be still doing my nature videos. And once summer's case is over, that's what I'm going back to. Because it ain't worth it, y'all. What you have to go through, what I have been through in this case, and I did not monetize my channel until a month, about a month ago. And I mean, it was only when I found out that it could take years. It could take years, or it could take a week, it could take a day, it could happen today. But it could also take years to solve this case if they have to treat it as a circumstantial case. It could take a long time. And I promised Summer that I would be here for her until justice was served for her. And that whoever did something to her would be held accountable. I want to see it. I want to see Miss Candace be a be held accountable. I want to see her in that jumpsuit with handcuffs and shackles being escorted from the courtroom or from some anywhere. I want to see her in the jumpsuit. I want to see that justice up close. I want to see the jumpsuit. I want to see the handcuffs. I want to see the shackles. I want to see it all. I want a picture. I want a picture of it so I can keep it. A real physical picture. It's going to be a treasure for me. I'm going to take a screenshot and I'm going to print it out. And it's going to be a souvenir. And on the back of it, I'm going to write, We did it, Summer. Summer's team did it. Justice for Summer. 
That's what I'm going to put on the back of the picture. Justice for summer. And thank you to Team Summer. All the YouTube creators out here covering Summer's case. There's a lot of people out here that love that little girl more than she was ever loved in her life. She never had any love in her life. Candace sure didn't love her at all. She didn't show any signs of love at all for that baby girl. As filthy as that house was, as filthy as Summer was all the time, Summer didn't have nothing. She had a box of filthy, dirty, scummy toys that nobody would even want. And then she sold them or gave them away. Who would want them? With all that scum and grit all over them. I saw when Robin and the kids was cleaning up those little toys. They had to scrub the eyes of those little Paw Patrol toys because you couldn't even see the eyes. They were covered in filth and dirt and grime. That was all Summer had to play with. It's really sad how Summer's life had, was and how horrible of a mother Candace was to her. Candace was so jealous of her. She was green with envy over that little girl because she was so beautiful. Way more beautiful than Candace ever was. Candace was never that beautiful. Candace was never beautiful anyway. Even though Don said that one time in a very drunk state of mind, by the way, and also a very drugged up state of mind, his beautiful wife. <laughs> yeah, right. Beautiful where? She's not beautiful on the inside or out. She is very dark, very evil. And she needs to be in prison or institutionalized. She needs to be off the streets so that she can't harm any more children or take advantage of any more young boys. Like she loves to do. She's a threat to children. She's a pedophile. She's a predator. Always on the hunt for another victim. They need to get her off the streets. She's not just a threat to herself. She's a threat to others around her. And that needs to be talked about and acknowledged as much as her wanting to do harm to herself. It needs to be acknowledged that she could very well do harm to others. I mean, my God, she threatened to blow up a Walmart one time. That's a terrorist act. It was a terrorist threat. That's what terrorists do. That's what, that's how horrible of a person she is. And that's how dangerous she is to the public. And they still have not arrested her. If somebody else's child is harmed or loses their life or gets gone but while, under Candace's care or while Candace is staying with somebody who has children and she causes harm to another child or grooms another child and takes advantage of them. And I'm talking about S.A. Because, yes, she does. She just hasn't been registered yet because she hadn't been convicted yet, but it's already she's already admitted to S.A. When she admitted that, that to Jenna... There's a witness. She, it came right out of her mouth. She is, she has been done SA to minors. And if she, people who are letting her stay in their home and they have minor children, they don't care about their kids either. 
or they wouldn't be letting that evil woman near their children. If she'll harm her own children, you don't think she would harm somebody else's? Yes, she would. And one of them left her alone in a motel room with their child sleeping on the couch. I would have never done that. I would have never left my child alone with Candace for five minutes. Not even for one minute. It's okay. She won't never get hers back. That's the best thing about this story is Candace has no kids. Yay. Or Don. Neither one of them have any children. And I hope that when Don gets out, I hope he divorces Candace. I hope he's been thinking hard, long and hard, about what a horrible wife she was, what a horrible mother she was. She wasn't no mother. You can't even call Candace a mother. A mother is somebody who loves and nurtures and cares their, for their children. That's not Candace. Candace only loves herself. And that's only enough to get herself the drugs and alcohol that she thinks she needs. Even Don said that Candace don't even take showers. That's what evil does. Evil lives in filth. And she don't even mind it. You can't expect anything better out of her. You can't expect anything different out of her. I think it's the way she was raised. But that ain't no excuse because when you have kids, you have a responsibility to learn what you don't know. When I got, when I had my daughter, I got pregnant with my daughter when I was 14 years old. I didn't know a thing about kids. But I had to learn. I had a responsibility that I had to learn what I didn't know. And yes, a lot of it I learned by trial and error. Trial and error. No parent is perfect. None. Nobody, no parent out there is perfect. But there's not many out there that are evil like Candace. Candace, I believe it with my whole heart that she did something this summer. I don't know if she did away with her and she's buried somewhere or in a septic tank or a well. Who knows? Candace is crazy. She's heartless. Hunter's, Hunter's the one that said it. He was the first one to say it. He's the one that said that Candace killed Summer and put her in a well. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm out here where the all the pollen is, and I've got some allergies going on. But, yeah, he put that in a Facebook post right after Summer came up missing. And then some people jumped on that comment saying things and then he took it down but there's a reason for why he said that but there's also a lot of enough reason to believe that she sold some or two i believe that it's very well it's very possible that she could have either sold summer or turned summer over to somebody an organization an organized crime group because she owed them a lot of money her and Don and Summer might have been used to pay off that debt or pay down that debt but the biggest part of me believes that they sold her and they profited I really believe they sold that baby and if she's not living anymore, I believe it's Candace. I believe Candace did it. 
Well, I hope y'all see the evil that I see in that girl. Look in her eyes. Go back to when she was arrested, her mug shots, back in the day with her first set of kids when she went to jail for child abuse and child endangerment and violence. She's been violent her whole life. She's been a threat to children her whole life. This is not the first set of kids that she's lost. It's not the first set of kids she's abused. She's went to jail for child abuse several times. There's, a, I think there's like four different mug shots online when she was very young. Not knowing, not being taught by your mother like she was not taught by her mother is no excuse. I learned, my, I taught myself, I learned, I, I read books, I talked to people, other elders that had children. I, I found ways to learn what I needed to know to raise my kids. Candace didn't care enough to learn anything. She didn't even try to learn anything. She still don't. About how to care for children. She don't care nothing about how to care for children. She knew what she what was expected of her as a parent and she did she just ignored that. She just let them eat dollar pizzas from the dollar store every day. And they had to fix those themselves in a little toaster oven because it's all they had to use to cook with. And it was full of cockroaches. They done went through I don't know how many toaster ovens and the cockroaches ate the wiring off of them. Seriously. The cockroaches are so bad in that house that they would go through toaster ovens like crazy. One that um, somebody witnessed a brand new toaster oven in their home. One time they was up there and then another time they came up there, that toaster oven was outside with some other junk ones. And they said, what happened? The cockroaches ate the wiring out of that one too. And she, yep, probably, she knew. Same thing happened to the refrigerator and the stove. The cockroaches are so bad they eat the wiring. Imagine the disease in that house. The, them kids was eating them dollar pizzas straight out of them toaster ovens that were full of cockroaches. It's sad. It's pitiful. And people take up for her. I can't. I still can't believe it that people actually take up for her. And they think she's a good mother. What kind of person would think Candace is a good mother? Somebody that's just like her? It's the only thing I can think of. Because anybody that knows how to be a mother and what a good mother is, anybody that knows what a good mother is and how to be a good mother and what it takes to be a good mother, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be like Candace. And they wouldn't be thinking that Candace is a good mother. Apparently they don't know what a good mother is either. Poor Summer, she didn't have a mother or a father. Don was at work all the time, and when he was at home, he was drunk, he was highly intoxicated. Both of them were every night, and that has been said by witnesses, many different witnesses. That was a daily and nightly thing with them. I can't imagine how many fights and kids fell asleep listening to in the middle of the night and had to get up and go to school the next day after being kept up all night 
with people running in and out of the house. Them boys' bedroom was right there at the main door. Imagine how cold it was in the winter time. Them walls, that ain't nothing but plywood for walls. I bet you anything that uh, it ain't heated. Them boys' room wasn't even heated because the only heater they have in that house is a wood stove and it's in the basement. And Don drilled holes in the floor upstairs and that was supposedly to let the heat go upstairs from the basement, from the dungeon. And the boys used the holes as peepholes to watch Candace have uh, indecent liberties with a minor in the dungeon. The boys sat there and watched them through peepholes. No, she ain't getting them kids back. That's the best karma for her. If it even phases her, I doubt it. Granda says she didn't want them back, so she probably, it's probably true that she didn't want them back. She probably still don't want them back, and she probably already knows she ain't getting them back anyway. That's what she gets. She knew what was coming. She'd been through this before. She done lost another set of kids and went to jail over child abuse. She learned from it, but she don't care. That's the problem. She don't care. And she don't care about herself because she don't even take showers. That proves that she don't care about herself. And the fact the way she drinks and does drugs and stuff, that tells you that she don't care about herself. How is she going to care for anybody else when she can't even care for herself? I hope Summer's in a good place. I hope, I hope they did sell her to somebody good, a good family got her. I hope she's being raised like a normal, average, everyday child is raised with parents that love her and feed her and give her baths. Goes outside and plays with her. Takes her on little nature hikes. Summer loves nature so much. Whoever she's with, I hope she's with a good family and I hope they're taking her out and letting her be in nature a lot because she loves nature. We all look for things to have hope in. That's, that's the one thing that I look for hope in, in this case, is that somebody has her that's taking care of her and not essaying her or abusing her in any way. The truth will come out. We just have to wait for it. It's coming. I feel like law enforcement has changed strategies. And I think it's working better than the other. And so I don't think it's going to be long before this case is solved. It's not going to be much longer. I don't feel like it's going to. Even though it's possible that it could take longer, I don't think it's going to. Candace was so sloppy. She left so many holes, and her own mother then shot her story all to crap. Because it's obvious that 
that's all a lie. June fifteenth is just about basically just about all lies. There's very little truth in June the fifteenth. Grandis went to a doc went and seen a doctor. Candace went and picked up Hunter. That's about the only truth. They went to Walgreens, picked up some medicine. They went in the grocery store and used WIC coupons and got some milk and cheese. And then they later called it groceries. And kids and everybody took every, took the whole family to carry all of them groceries in to two different residents. And then all it was was milk and cheese. They didn't need no help carrying no milk and cheese in the house. They lied. They've lied about everything in this case. I'm sick of all their lies. Games. Drama. Deflection. Can't wait till this case is over. Poor Summer. Just imagine. We, I keep saying I can't wait till this case is over just because I can't stand Candace. I cannot stand her. I don't want to have to think about her or have to talk about her or have to deal with her anymore. I'm here as a voice for Summer to make sure that Candace gets what's, what she deserves for everything she's done to those kids. Losing her kids is not enough karma. Not for whatever she's done to Summer. She wants, she needs to be in prison for Summer being gone. And I'm here to see that happen. Just like a whole lot of other people. But I am feeling better today. My energy is in the right place. I am very, very happy in my life, and I'm not going to allow somebody like Candace, who has no life because of her own actions and her own lack of actions. I know somebody who is a whole lot like Candace. A whole lot like her. And she's just borderline. She's just borderline of being where Candace is. There's a few differences. But there's a whole lot of similarities, too. It's pathetic. That there are mothers out there that won't be a mother. Make up all kinds of excuses for why they can't be a mother. It's always somebody else's fault. No, it's not. When you have a child, you have a responsibility to learn how to become a mother. And if you can't, then you need to give that child to somebody else before something bad happens to the child, like Summer. We have to have faith in the CPS system that they're going to see to it that justice is held and justice is served and law enforcement, the court system. We have to have faith they're all working together as a one big team, one big team. FBI is involved. They are still involved. And this case is going to be solved. It's coming, y'all. Don't let it get to you. Don't let it enter your life. Don't let the negativity from this case enter your life and enter your peaceful 
space. Keep your life, your home, and your space, and your energy in check. Keep it clean, keep it positive, and yourself too. Positive, be positive. Keep your life positive, keep your thoughts positive. Don't allow all this negativity into your life and don't allow the negativity to ruin the good things in your life. I'm not letting it get to me anymore. I'm taking it in small doses, in small strides, and my focus is in the right place. And I'm going to continue to do my videos. And I'm going to continue to watch and wait for justice for Summer and her brothers. And I enjoy all of you. I'm so grateful to have each and every one of you. I have hit 2,300 subscribers i seen today. A little, I think I crossed over it, a little bit over it. Right around 2,300, wow. Amazing, y'all, that I have 2,300 friends. And each and every one of us, we all care about Summer Wells. Well, for the most part, and we're not going anywhere. If Candace is watching, Candace's close friends, if she has any close friends, we're not going anywhere. There's a whole lot more out there. There's a lot of, a whole lot of channels bigger than mine. They ain't going nowhere either. Law enforcement ain't going nowhere. This case is going to be solved. Y'all can keep on and on and on trying to run off the creators. Nope. We ain't going nowhere. We want justice for Summer. Summer don't belong to Candace anymore. She is no longer her parent. She is America's daughter now. She's the world's daughter now. She's our daughter, Candace. Summer's our daughter. That's my daughter. It's our daughter. It's not yours anymore. You had your chance to be a mother to that girl. And you didn't want her. You were jealous of her. Look at the life she had when, she, when you had your chance. The world's going to make sure that justice is served for summer. You won't get by with whatever you did. You won't. Go ahead and live your best life. And enjoy your last days of freedom. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I hope you were able to see the few hummingbirds that came around to the feeders over there. I don't know how well you can see them. I hope you could see them. I hope you enjoyed the sounds of all the birds. I hope you were able to hear the birds like I could. My AC unit, I should have turned it off because it drowns out the sound of the peaceful birds and it takes away from the the peaceful energy out here I mean it's just a beautiful energy so calm so peaceful it, my home is that way inside and out calm and peaceful drama free positive energy I got my crystals and gemstones that make me feel better. Oh, if I feel a little low, I, I got a gemstone for, or a crystal for everything, for every ailment. <laughs> we all do have our own little ways of making ourselves feel better. And... Mine is nature. 
I love being a part of nature. I love sharing it with y'all. All of it. I'm very blessed to be where I am today. And I'm very blessed to be where I am in my life, even though I'm still grieving. I'm still, I'm still healing in a lot of ways, physically, emotionally, from my losses in my life. But I'm also at the same time very grateful and very much aware of all of my blessings in my life. And I have been very blessed. And I am very grateful for that. And I like to share everything that I have with all of you. All the, the nature, all the healing energy, the positive energy, peaceful energy. You don't see that everywhere anymore. It's hard to find that anywhere anymore. But this is a place where you can come and you can feel at peace. You can relax. You can just sit back and just enjoy conversation, just enjoy listening to nature, enjoy looking at nature, the vibes, the vibes has got to be really good because the energy is wonderful here, and I'm going to protect my energy even more closely. I'm going to be more protective of my energy from now on. I'm not going to let this case or anything else knock a dent in my positive energy. I'm going to, I mean, I've made it this far. Candace pulling that stunt she pulled that hit a nerve, and y'all know why that hit a nerve with me. I jumped out of the shower and come down he, downstairs with wet hair and went live with soaking wet hair, looking like a wet rat, and pleaded for her not to take her life. And worried about her, and worried about her life. I... And I'm not saying her life don't matter. And I'm not saying that everybody else shouldn't check on her. And other people shouldn't check on her. But I'm out. If I'm out. I don't care what happens to, to her anymore. Yes, her life matters. But do I care? No. I don't care about Candace or her life anymore. She did all this to herself. All I care about is Summer. And if she, if she goes out, she needs to leave a note about what happened to Summer and where she is. But I hope she don't do that, y'all. I do. I hope she don't do that. But she's selfish. She might. And she does. We won't never know her guilty knowledge. Her involvement. Yeah, we will. Because Don will tell everything then. And he'll put it all on her. <laughs> he'll put it all on her. To save himself. She ain't gonna do that. She's too worried about Donnie boy. She's too worried about who's gonna pick up Donnie boy from jail. And take him to rehab. Take him to the halfway house. I hope another woman picks him up. Because she thinks she's going to. But I don't think Donnie Boy wants her to pick him up anymore. I don't think he feels the same way anymore about her. Not that he's had any love for her in a long time. And now that they have no kids together anymore, 
there's no reason for them to be together anymore. And I hope when he gets out, I hope he kicks her to the curb. I hope it, he don't even want to ever see her again. And that's more karma for Candace because she loves her Donnie boy. And she's so jealous over her Donnie boy. That's what's making her behave right now on YouTube anyway. Is because Don is hearing about all this stuff that she's doing. And she knows that when Don gets out, she's going to be right there begging for his forgiveness. He'll be out before you know it. I've, I've heard August and I've heard October. I don't know which one it is, but either way, it's coming and it'll be here before you know it. Donnie Boy's going to be out, and I hope he's found a newfound love while he was in there. I hope somebody has been writing to him and calling him. I hope he has done falling in love with somebody else and is ready to move on and start a new life with another woman, even if it's up on the hill, because that'll be more karma for Candace. I want all the karma that can hit Candace to hit her all at one time. She needs to tell what happened this summer. She needs to quit being a coward, being scared of going to jail and own up and man up. All those pictures that she had on Facebook and TikTok Looking like a Billy Badass and looking like a gangster. She ain't no gangster. She ain't even tough because she can't even... She can't even handle manning up to what she did to her own kid. She's going to have to man up. She's going to be forced to man up. She thinks she's going to get out of going to prison, but no, she ain't. No, she ain't. And the world's not going to stop watching until she is in that jumpsuit. Anyways. I hope y'all have enjoyed sitting out here on my deck with me. Having a, well, horrific conversation <laughs> about a horrific situation it's hard to talk about such a negative horrible situation and sound positive about it that's very hard to do but just know that i do have my positive energy back i really do i am very chill i'm very relaxed i am enjoying my life I am back into my healing journey. I am back into my meditations and my breathing techniques. And I have found my peace and I have found my positive energy. And no, Candace will not ever touch that again. Never again. She is not allowed. She has no space in my mind. Except for when I'm doing my summer videos. And it's all for summer. Only because of summer that I even give her even a thought. It's because I love summer and I want to see justice for summer. Now look at this leaf. Look how beautiful. Ain't that just beautiful? kind of cloudy today. I felt a raindrop a few minutes ago. I think it's going to rain. I mean, I hope it does because my plants love fresh rain water. I water them. I water them good, but nothing like some fresh rain water. They love that. 
after a real good rain, they turn deep, dark green. They look so good. Some of them are starting to get, uh, some of the potted palms are starting to get a little bit yellowy on some of the branches. Well, a couple of the branches. Uh, it might be the sun causing that. Maybe they're getting too much direct sunlight. But the one right beside it is doing beautifully. Real tall and dark green. They're all living beings. They all have energy. We're all connected through energy. The animals, the plants, the birds, people. There's a hummingbird over there. Can y'all see it? Anyways, y'all, there's my video. There's my summer video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon.